This is the uh, first race of the Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan Global Arabian Flat Racing Festival that continues right throughout the year, with the final to take place in November this year in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. And it is indeed a pleasure that the first event kicking off here at Mooney Valley here in Melbourne this afternoon. The next event in Texas, Morocco, Newbury in the United Kingdom, Berlin, Sweden, Poland and France, and then of course the final in the UAE. And details, of course, on page 22 of your race book. As our horse is now getting set here behind the gates, and shortly they'll be called in for the first of our Arabian events this evening, the running of His Royal Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup over 2,040 metres. Now, starters should call him up uh, any moment shortly. Interesting to note, Franchar Park Keisha, horse number one in this event has won races over the distance of a mile and also 100 miles. Now, Paro prediction coming into the gates. Jupiter Samira is next. Blake's Heaven Bombora, just shying away from the back of the gates. Sanaya down on the inside, Blake's Heaven Bombora coming in. In the uh, green colours, Quinta Essential behind the stools getting ready. And it's Franchar Park Keisha, the winner of the Shadwell Mile last year at Caulfield actually has just gone in. And Warawi Nazik. So we're set here for the start, the first of our Arabian races this evening as Quinter Essentia for Aino O'Connor, the last one to complete the line. Light flashing on top of the stools, about to let them go. 2,040 2, metres here for the Arabs. About to release the field, the line looks good, off and racing. Best to begin was Jupiter Samira from the centre of the field. Black's Heaven Bombora going forward in the blue colours. Franchar Park, Keisha out deep on the track as well. And pushing up on the inside at this point, there is Paro Prediction. As they work their way down to the line, past the judge the first time with the circuit to run, heading out of the straight. It's Jupiter Samira leading the field. Paro Prediction pulling against the rider just a little there, now easing back. And next we see is Franchar Park, Keisha. Uh, further in the field there to uh, Black's Heaven Bombora. Warawi Nazik about uh, four and a half lengths away. And towards the rear of the field, some distance away at this point we see is Sanaya dropping out to the rear with Quinta Essentia just whipping around his outside. Down towards the Dean Street bend in search of the 1400 metre marker and a good clip out in front. The leaders so far, Paro Prediction leading the field here by about a good five to six lengths. Second is Jupiter Samira, about three lengths away to Franchar Park Keisha. Next in the blue colours there is Blake's Heaven Bombora with Warawi Nazik. About six lengths away and chasing in the green at this point we see is Quinter Essentia and almost dropping out to the river is Sanaya, many lengths off the tail as they work their way down the freeway side of the course and via the thousand metre mark. Paro prediction for Catherine Bury of Switzerland leads the field here in Merry Dance out in front. A good break this year set up about some 10 or 11 lengths clear of the nearest runner. That's Franchar Park Keisha in the second position. Warawi Nazik working around the outside of Blake's Heaven Bombor, only a head separating third from fourth. Some three and a half, four lengths away at this point is Jupiter Samira and a couple of lengths back further, Quinta Essentia at this point, Sanaya well back as they work their way up the side of the course here. And working the way towards the uh, school here in Mooney Ponds this afternoon. A new leader now as the challenges are coming from Franchar Park Keisha. Warawi Nazik working around the outside. The blue colours squeezing through the centre there of Blake's Heaven Bombora. About a half length separating those three. As they separate themselves from the remainder of the field, some seven or eight lengths away and tailing off there. The gold colours of Paro Prediction dropping out as they work their way towards the home corner with about 250 metres to travel. Blue, Black's Heaven Bombora just narrowly trying to get the head in front. Franchar Park Keisha on the inside and Warawi Nazik make it a line of three as they head their way into the home straight here. And the whips are cracking now. Franchar Park Keisha, the winner of last year's Shadwell Mile, first to turn the corner and head into the straight. Warawi Nazik starts to gather momentum and issue the challenge over on the outside. It's Warawi Nazik getting the head in front as they work their way towards the line. Warawi Nazik and it's Warawi Nazik here to take out the opening event. Warawi Nazik from Franchar Park Keisha. Uh, uh, third there, Blanks Heaven Bombora, some many lengths away to Quinta Essentia. Then going over the line, next would be Jupiter Samira in advance of the early leader, Paro Prediction. And just tailing off now, we have Sanea, the early leader. 
So opening event here this afternoon going to number two, Warraween Nazik for Kim Noble. And interesting, of course, Kim and her husband Stephen have a runner in race two this, this evening on the Thoroughbred program as well. Kim Noble riding, owning and training up at uh, Lancefield and Warraween Nazik. Happy to sit back the, off the leading horse in the early piece and then uh, the grinding run coming around the home turn and issuing the challenge there in the home straight. The Arabs are interesting in that they take a, a stride perhaps a little bit shorter than a thoroughbred and perhaps a little bit softer in the mouth as well. They prefer not to have as much contact with the bit, but certainly an endurance horse and a horse that uh, over many furlongs more starts to certainly come, uh, come up against the thoroughbreds with the time. But we can't... Warawi Naziki taking out the opening event from Franchar Parkasha and Blake's Heaven Bombora with Quinter Essentia into fourth position. So two, one and three official, two, one and three. Fourth in number four. Looking for the overall time there on the event. 2.27, 2.27 won the time. 2.27 won the time for the 2040. One and a quarter by a head, the official margin. One and a quarter by a head. One and a quarter by a head, the official margin for the numbers two, one, three and four. So Warraween Nazik, owned and raced by Kim Noble and trained by Kim as well up at Lansfield, carrying the 60 kilos, an eight-year-old bay gelding by Tristan Bobby Dazzler from Warraween Nazik, hence the name of course. Second, Franchar Parkasha for Loretta Beckman and Gary Robertson at Flinders, a 16-year-old. Grey gelding by Shah Wizar from Yulanga Kasha. And third over the line, Blake Seven Bombora for F Fatima El Manj riding from Oman and Talia Hasko Stewart, the trainer from New South Wales. An 11 year old chestnut gelding by Shaker Ibn Rashan out of Stevie Nicks. So two, one, and three official, fourth in number four. And 2.27.15 the official time. 2.27.15 the official time for the margin one and a quarter by a head. And we can see a very happy Kim Noble there on the scales and just watching the replay she worked her way around the outside of Blake's Heaven Bombora. Franchar Parkasha putting up a good performance. The grey on the inside. And Warawi Nazik sailing over the line, the better. So as we stand by for correct weight on the opening event, the race one on the program, His Royal Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Kamp over the distance of 2,040 metres, the first of our Arabian races on the program. The second coming up at uh, 20 minutes past six over the mile, Her Royal Highness Sheikha Fatima bint Mubarak Ladies IFARH Cup for purebred Arabians three-year-olds and over.